Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of a laid back video. This basket is getting a little too full, so I figured I should film an empties video. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me, and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I also have an active giveaway going on right now. It ends at the end of November, so if you guys are interested in entering that, I will go ahead and link that video down below as well so you can check it out. Anyway, without further ado, let's see my makeup trash. Okay guys, I do have my actual trash can down here so I could dump stuff in there. First thing I see is this guy. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and it's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. Now when this first came out, I think everyone pretty much thought it was a gimmick because it was like primer water, like what the heck is primer water? And you know, it just seemed like they were bottling up water, but I did buy one and I actually ended up really liking this stuff. And it did take me quite a while to get through it as well. Of course, I have a bunch of other setting sprays that I rotate in and out too. So that might have also been why. But I do feel like this actually really helped my makeup set too. I know it says it's a primer water, but I use this on top of my makeup as well. And I really, really liked it. So in the future, I may repurchase this right now. I'm not going to just because I have a bunch of other ones I need to finish up first. But this was really good and I would highly recommend it to you guys. Next item I used up is one of these guys. This is a Sephora face mask. It's a sleep mask actually and this was the pomegranate one and it was supposed to be like a refreshing mask that was gonna leave me like more energized and it has pomegranate fruit extract, reduces the signs of fatigue, awakens and tones the skin. Now their sheet masks are really really good so I thought this would be just as good. Honestly guys I didn't really see a huge difference when I used this mask. You do get quite a bit of product in these, so you can usually use the mask up to three times. But honestly, I did not wake up feeling like I was more energetic or my skin was more radiant. Like I see more results when I use their sheet masks. So just wanted to give you guys my quick review on this little face mask as well. Another thing I finished up, the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Body Butter. And this is what it looks like. A lot of people really like Soap and Glory because their products smell really good. I've really been enjoying this. There is a little bit of product right here, but you know, I feel like I did a really good job using this up. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this, but I really like it. I think it definitely hydrates my skin and it's affordable. You can now get Soap and Glory at Target too. Even our Target in Fargo carries this brand. So I really like it and I've already replaced this in my bathroom. So. Next item I want to show you guys is this shampoo and conditioner. This was actually sent to me by a brand and it's called Nature Queen Premium Herbal Shampoo and each of these bottles is 100 ml and this girl was so sweet and she sent them to me to try out and this is supposed to be really good if you're like losing hair and there's no like artificial ingredients or harm harmful chemicals or parabens or things like that. Honestly, this pump didn't work. So that was kind of annoying because I tried so many times to get this to work so I could pump it out. So then I had to like unscrew the lid to get it to work. So that was kind of disappointing. And overall, I just really didn't like the smell of these shampoos. It smelled really, really like essential oil and herbally. And unfortunately, I'm kind of a sucker for really fresh, clean smelling hair. So I was not a huge fan. I did try to really look past the scent and enjoy it, but I just couldn't handle it. I think if you have really unhealthy hair, you may enjoy this. I just thought it made my hair really greasy. So I actually stopped using this and these are pretty full, but I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter them because I don't need to hold on to things that I'm not gonna use. Okay, I have another shampoo and conditioner to talk about. This I was really excited about. Look at how gross these bottles look because they've been sitting in my shower. But honestly, I just wanna get rid of things. Like I don't wanna keep things for no reason. These are by Function of Beauty and I got the shampoo and the conditioner. I think I saw this brand on Instagram and I got totally suckered in and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy them and try them out. And Honestly, this is supposed to be like a customized to your hair kind of shampoo, but I didn't see any results from these. I didn't think it was helping with oil control or anything like that. And I don't know, it's really weird. If you look at this closely, you can see the shampoo is actually separating in here. So I felt like I had to like shake it up every time I used it. And 
I don't think this did anything, you know, incredible to my hair to justify the price. So again, I just don't want to keep these in my collection, so I will be decluttering them. So the next item I finished up is the Body Shop Aloe Calming Toner. This is a fragrance-free, collagen-free, preservative-free, and alcohol-free toner. And you get 250 ml, and it is formulated for sensitive skin. I really like using a toner every night and every morning. I really feel like it helps cleanse my skin and also restore the balance in my skin. So I've really been loving the Body Shop toners. I think they're a really good price point as well. They're not overly expensive. So I will continue to purchase different ones from them. And this one was really nice as well. It didn't really strip my skin or anything like that. So highly recommend the Body Shop toners to you guys as well. This is a new mascara that I've been trying out. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I thought this was okay. I am gonna go ahead and throw this out because it's already pretty much dried up and the bristles are quite big and like an awkward shape. It's really hard for me to coat my lashes with this so it was fun to try it out but I'm totally not really excited to use this and I don't reach for it so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. I have been trying a lot of different mascaras in my collection because I wanted to go ahead and go through all my samples and things like that. So this is another sample. This is the Boundless Lashes by Cargo Cosmetics. I think I got this in my Masterclass goodie bag. So again, it had just been sitting there and honestly, this one I didn't like because the brush is like way too big and I felt like I was going to stab my eyes with it. So for that reason, I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. This is a little sample of the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. It wasn't like super impressive or really that bad. It was just kind of meh. I don't really like to buy high-end mascara, so I will not be repurchasing this. Dior Show Mascara is another sample size. Again, this was not that great. You know, I just thought it was okay. I didn't really like this container for the sample. The brush kind of like pulled out and it was all right, not that, you know, not that exciting, and I don't even want to know how much a full size of Dior Mascara is, so will not be repurchasing. This is the Rimmel Volume Colorist Mascara, and this said it was tinting my lashes, but of course, you guys, this is like my natural hair color. I have really dark hair, so I don't really need it to tint it, and I didn't think it was like a super great mascara, but it wasn't the worst mascara in the world. It was definitely on the cheaper end at the drugstore. Because drugstore mascaras are getting kind of expensive too, like some of the L'Oreal mascaras are in like the $12 to $15 price range, which is a little bit scary. So I was looking around for more affordable mascaras to try, so I did pick this up. I do think the packaging is really cute and it was okay. It's just nothing like I would say like you have to run out and buy it, you know? Another thing I finished up, I'm so excited, is the Glossier. CoconutBalm.com Universal Skin Solve. I've been wearing this every night and every morning to hydrate my lips before I put any lipstick on or liquid lipstick on and of course at night to just hydrate my lips before I go to bed. So that's how I managed to finish this and I'm so excited. I actually have another one of these laying around so I'm going to go ahead and get through that as well. It's always so fun when you finish up products and you know you can't get anything else out of it. So yeah, very excited to be able to toss that. Next item I'm getting rid of is this Masio Big Mascara. This is a sample by the brand Lancome. I actually did really enjoy this mascara but there's no way I'm buying it at full price. So yeah, very cool, fun to try out and it was a decent mascara. So. If you guys wanted to know my thoughts on that, there you have it. I did finish up a Beauty Blender Solid, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this. You guys know I really like using this to clean my makeup brushes as well as my makeup sponges. So every once in a while I do try to try out different makeup wipes, but these are the ones I keep going back to. So as you can see, I've used quite a bit of these Neutrogena makeup wipes. These are just the refill packs. So I have the little plastic container and I just keep refilling that. And this is what I use every night to take my makeup off and then I cleanse my face. But I always use a makeup wipe because I feel like that does a good job taking that first layer of makeup off. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I used to be subscribed to the subscription box called Facetory, which was basically a face mask subscription service. But honestly, they send you like six or seven masks in each box. And I basically found myself like overloaded with masks. So I ended up um, canceling that subscription and just trying to finish up some of the masks I actually own. So I did go ahead and use all of these ones from Facetory. I also had this Dr. Jart one that I picked up in a 
um, Sephora sale, like they have a Dr. Jart like mask set. And I used this one and this was actually really good. I was actually pleasantly surprised. This was super, super hydrating and I really, really enjoyed it. And then I have these ones. I don't really remember, you know, any specifics about using these. But this one was definitely good for moisturizing my skin. So if you guys have the chance, definitely try out one of these Dr. Jark masks. Because I thought this one in particular stood out to me quite a bit. I also have a Sephora foot mask. You guys know I love using these just to hydrate my feet, especially in between pedicures. I actually wore one to bed last night. That's upstairs on my nightstand, so I forgot to bring it down here for the empties video. Shame on me. This was an interesting product that I wanted to try out that I saw on Ulta's website. This is by the brand Earth Therapeutics, and it's a tea tree oil soft heel gel patches to moisturize, soften, and protect dry and cracked heels. Now, I actually have really dry, cracked heels, so I thought this was cool. It's basically like a little band-aid that you stick on the back of your heel, and it does really hydrate the back of my foot. The only problem is these gel pads are a little too small, so they get really messy. I had to wear them with socks because otherwise they would fall off. The band-aid part isn't very sticky. So it was, it's a really good invention and it's really effective, but the actual design sucks. So if anybody from Earth Therapeutics is watching, if you could just make this a bigger pad and make the adhering part more sticky so this doesn't easily fall off, I would definitely keep buying these. So that is my mini little review on these feet pad thingamajiggies. Next item I'm tossing out is a Benefit Roller Lash. This is honestly one of my favorite mascaras. I had these before, but for some reason, recently I picked up one of these and it works so well that I can't believe I haven't had these in my collection for a long time. So I definitely have now stocked up on Roller Lash and it's definitely become one of my favorite high-end mascaras. So if you guys wanted my opinion on that, and then I have the Benefit They're Real. I think this was in my Makeup by Mario goodie bag. So again, I did try and use it. I just really don't like the wand in this particular mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it because it's just pointless keeping things that I'm not going to be using. So people ask me all the time what my favorite liquid liner is. And I've found a really good one from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Curvitude. And this lasted in my collection forever. I'm finally just throwing this out because I feel like... I bought a new one, so I'm like, I'll just use that and toss this one, but this is so good. It has this cool, like, curved, you know, wand, so it does make it a little bit easier for you guys to do your wing liner, so if you're interested and you're having a hard time with doing a perfect wing, I would recommend this, and it's not very expensive, it's nice and opaque, and it works really well, so really like this eyeliner from Maybelline. I finally finished up this little travel size of the Ralph Lauren Romance. It actually came in a little set, so I still am working on the bigger bottle because I want to declutter that, but I did get through this one, and I really like the scent. It's one of my favorite scents. If you guys have anyone that you need to buy a gift for, like a special someone, this holiday season, I would recommend this. Otherwise, it's a really good gift for Valentine's Day as well, so keep that in mind. Another perfume that I finally got through is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is honestly one of my favorite scents of all time. Me and my mom both wear this religiously, and I might have to replace this during the VIB sale. I did pick up some other scents that I'm really enjoying for the time being, but yeah, you guys see there's a green sticker on this because I did work on finishing this up because perfume does go bad. If it's turning yellow, it usually means it's bad. So I just wanted to get it used up, even though this is very expensive and replacing this is going to cost me. I would use this up and declutter it. So if you like fresh and clean scents, you're really going to like this Dolce & Gabbana perfume. I did finish up a deodorant, you guys. I really like these Secret Clear Gel deodorants. Some people say that it isn't as strong as the white ones, but I don't like how the ones that have that white cast get all over your clothes. So I've been using the clear gel ones for a long time and I think they work really good. I mean, nobody said anything to me, so hopefully I don't stink, but yeah, I really like these. Another item I did finish up is a face mask. This is by the brand L'Oreal. This is a pure clay mask and I don't know what this one does. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I did use it up. This is a really good mask from the drugstore. So if you guys are on a budget and you want to, you know, try something out, I would recommend this 
brand. Now this wasn't my absolute favorite. I think the charcoal one would be really good if you guys want to try one. They also now have face washes from the same line. So very cool stuff. It's nice to see the drugstore expanding their horizons. Here is something that was in my project pan. I'm actually going to go ahead and toss this because I've had it for a really long time and I feel like it is getting old. This is Deep Throat by the brand NARS. They have wonderful powder products and I've had this forever. I've hit pan on it and I was going to try and use it up but I just feel like the pigmentation is not there and so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because I don't need to hold on to it because it's an expensive blush. Like it's not working as well as it used to so I'm just going to go ahead and toss that out. Another little mascara sample. This is Pure Volume Vixen. Again, nothing, you know, extraordinary about this one, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that. I really did like the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I tried this out in the month of June. I actually put the date on there, so MT's video has been a long time coming, but this is really good. This mascara is a little bit, again, more expensive, and I have a lot of other mascaras that I want to use up first, so I won't be repurchasing this, but if you guys are looking for a good drugstore mascara, this is a good one. And a lot of people say this is a good dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara as well. Another mascara, this is one of my favorites. This is Maybelline Last Sensational. I just really like the wand in this mascara, so I really enjoy using it. If you guys are looking for a good drugstore recommendation, this is one of my go-to mascaras from the drugstore. Oh my gosh, I just have so many more mascara samples. Okay, so Hypnosis Drama, and I believe this is by Lancome. And this one is also, these are both the same. So again, nothing fancy. I wouldn't really go ahead and buy these in the full size, but I guess I had samples, so I used them up, and now they're getting tossed. This guy I really didn't like. I think this was a sample that I got. This is the Laura Geller Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Blackbird. I really didn't like this eyeliner. It, like, kept breaking. It's very crappy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out. This guy I did get for free from the brand Maybelline as well as Influencer. Not a huge fan of this mascara. The wand is fucking weird. So I was like, mm, you can't really do your top lashes with this as far as I'm concerned. I did use it for my bottom lashes and it was really quite good at that. But overall, I won't be repurchasing this mascara. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and declutter is this guy. This is the Sara Hap. The lip slip. I feel like I talked about this in, I don't know what video I talked about this, but I don't know why it hasn't gotten thrown out yet. There was somebody on YouTube that was raving about this and talking about what a great lip balm it was. And honestly, I don't think it's at all worth the price. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this product because it's literally just gathering dust in my collection. Another thing I used up is, these are my favorite brand of razors. These are the Gillette Venus and Olay's. These are the ones that have the soap attached to them. I really like it because I'm super lazy. So if I have the soap already on there and I can shave in one go, I really enjoy it. I haven't cut myself with my razor in a really long time because that thing just works so well. So if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. I did use up this little Good Jeans sample. This is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment by the brand Sunday Riley. I actually really enjoyed the sample and did pick this product up in the full size, but I ended up really not liking the full size for some reason. It really just emphasized my pores and just messed up my skin. So I just think I'm not at that age yet where I need this product, but maybe in the future I will purchase it again and try it out. But for me, it just really was not necessary and kind of almost hurt my skin. So I'm going to be off of this until I really need it again. Another little sample I used up is this Belief, Believe in the Truth Hungarian Water Essence. Apply evenly to face and neck after cleansing and toning. This was pretty nice, but I won't be needing a full size of this. I really like this brand and they make some wonderful things. So if you're looking for good hydrating products, I would definitely check out the brand Belief. But as far as I'm concerned, I won't be picking this up in a full size. Another sample I used up is the Tatcha, what is this called? Luminous Overnight Memory Serum Concentrate. This was in my Makeup by Mario goodie bag. I think the full size of this is like well over $100. But uh, I didn't think this was gr that great. It is cool because you don't need a lot of it. It has a very jelly-like consistency. So you just take out a little bit and it like expands and really hydrates your face. But I would never 
be able to afford the full size of this. I just thought it was cool. It was a fun product to try out and this is really nice packaging. This is like a little glass jar. So it's super duper cute, but I'm glad I finished this up. So I will be tossing that. Another mascara, what else is new? This is the MAC False Lashes Mascara. I think I must have gotten this as a sample. So I'm gonna keep this and do back to MAC. I feel like I've filmed so many empties videos and I'm sure I've thrown out so many MAC products that I could have saved and done back to MAC and gotten a free lipstick. You know, it's always hindsight. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this, but I did use this up. I didn't think it was that great. I do like the packaging, it's very cool. Very hip, but not stand out at all. This is a little sample of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate. I didn't really like this. I felt like it was giving me little bumps under my eyes. My eyes could sometimes do that when it comes to specific eye creams. So I was a little bit nervous and the current eye creams I use don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this little eye cream sample. Okay guys, this item I am gonna go ahead and toss as well. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Silken Turquoise. I didn't really like this eye pencil and I don't really wear a lot of color eyeliner. I usually wear black, otherwise I'll maybe do dark brown every once in a while and I just don't feel the need to keep this in my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this product. Okay, last item. This is going to go back to MAC as well. This is a bottle of Prep and Prime Fix Plus. You guys know this is like everyone's holy grail product and it's for good reason. It's really good at setting your makeup even though it's not a setting spray. I think you can use this over makeup, underneath makeup, during makeup to follow your eyeshadows. It has a lot of really good uses. So if you haven't had a chance to pick up a MAC Fix Plus, I would totally recommend picking one up and trying this thing out. Okay guys, those were all of my empties. If you filmed any empties videos, go ahead and leave me links down below. I'd love to check them out. There's honestly such a good feeling when you finish products and it just makes me so happy. I can't believe I filled up this whole trash can. Like, it's full of makeup that I used up and I'm going to toss out. So it's a really good feeling when you actually use up products. I've been watching a lot of like Project Pan videos and stuff. So one of my goals for 2018 is to work on Project Pan. So I'm really, really excited for that coming up and I'm trying to decide like what products to put in my project pan and things like that. So it's been a really fun couple of months just kind of getting into that realm of makeup because I did film a makeup addictions video and I kind of consciously want to make an effort to buy less, use up more product, things like that. So super, super fun times. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it and have a great day guys. Bye!